Okay, so in this video, we'll be looking at the second type of exponential equations, which are called common factor equations. Okay, so what I want you to notice from this example that we have here, so we have 5 times 2 to the power x plus 3 times 2 to the power x plus 2 equals 68. So the one, what I want you to notice compared to the previous type of equation, the same base equations that we did, is the fact that we now have a plus over here. So we're going to start working with pluses and minuses, okay? And so instinctively, if you see pluses or minuses in your equation, it's highly unlikely that you'll be dealing with a same base equation. But you'll see now how same base equations actually come into play. So in this case, we are dealing with a common factor equation, and I'll show you why. So because we have a plus here, we can't really find a similar base and then set exponents equal to each other. It's not going to work. So what we rather do is consider a finding a common factor. Okay. So in this case, we'll consider the side that has multiple terms. Okay. So on the right side, we see we only have one term. It's just a 68. We can't really factorize anything there. But on the left side, we'll see, we see we have two terms. Um, we have a term 5 times 2 to the x and a term 3 times 2 to the power x plus 2. So essentially what we want to try and do is factorize something out on this side, on the left side, okay? And then we'll see how that will help us. So the first thing I'd actually do if we just look at the left-hand side is just to simplify this equation. So or to simplify the left-hand side. So we'll say 5 times 2 to the power x. But what I actually want to do is break this 2 to the power x plus 2 up into 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 2, okay, equals 68. Great. And the reason we're actually doing this is because we want to find, we want to identify a common factor in the term. So in both these terms, we notice that we have a common factor of 2 to the power x. And this is great because now we can go and factor that out. And we'll see how that will help us. So taking out 2 to the power x, okay, we can multiply that by 5 plus 3 times 2 to the power 2. Okay, all of that equals 68. And if you simplify inside the brackets, we have 5 plus 3 times 2 to the power 2. So 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 5 plus 12 is 17. Okay, so we have... 17 inside there equals 68. Cool. And now, it just so happens that 68 is divisible by 17. So what we actually want to do is divide by 17 so that we can get this 2 to the power x alone on the left-hand side. So we have 2 to the power x is equal to, and then we say 68 um, divided by 17, which will give us 4. And now what do you notice? We are back to same base equations because now we don't have any pluses or minuses and we are able to simplify our bases such that we have a common base and we can simply set the exponents equal to each other. So on the left-hand side, we have 2 to the power x and on the right-hand side, we can simplify 4 to 2 to the power 2 and thus x is equal to 2. And so you can see how we can actually start with a um, common factor equation, and we can actually work our way to a same base equation. Okay, so once again, just something to look out for is the fact that in this problem we had we had a plus. Okay, we you, I mean if you either have a plus or a minus, the basic thing is that we have more than one term on either the left or the right side, and this is important to distinguish between because it sort of hints to us that we might be able to factor out a common factor. And then we can then use that to further solve the equation.